The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, Realist Puppet in the game. How to mix your kick and sub together. These are two instruments in your track that absolutely got to play nice. So what I'm going to be doing today is going through this hip hop beat and making the adjustments and applying the plugins that I would use to help mix this kick and the sub together. Uh, now this video is not really how to make a kick and sub. I've done a video on how to make an 808 and also tuning drum samples and just general drum production. I'll put links to all that in the description if you'd like to see more. But today we're going to be taking this drum loop and cleaning it up. Uh, starting with the biggest problem I hear about this is the sub is lacking harmonics and harmonics are what help make it audible in smaller speakers which is how most of your audience is going to be consuming your music so uh, you really got to cater to that with how you mix it down and of course the uh, beast of a free plug in the camel crusher sounds amazing for this pretty much just use it like this all the time distortion and I would even take these harmonics sprinkle them on top of your kick boom right off the bat we are already bumping but this is a little bit extreme at this point um, I can tell for sure the sub is definitely way too loud now so I'm going to be turning that down. I tend to always keep my sub about five below my kick. And speaking of kick, I hear a little bit too much thump when I hear this kick. Because the sub has so much low end, we're not going to need the kick to be such a beast like that. So what I'm going to do is load up the FabFilter Pro Q2 before the Camel Crusher. And just pull up a nice damn anyways we're looking for the low cut nice and steep we're gonna crank it all the way up and we're just gonna kind of start sweeping the frequency until it sounds good and we're gonna have to keep hitting the space bar to keep replaying our kick but let's mmm Kind of just jumps out a little bit. Let's hear it with this sub. I like right around there. 22. Let's turn it off. Boom. See that helps pull the kick out just ever so slightly more by shaving off all the junk that didn't need to be in there. Are you a music producer that loves making blazing hip-hop bangers? Do you want your trap beats to sound extra crispy? Then get ready to shake the block. Introducing Urban Beats, the all-new sample pack featuring exclusive trap loops, over 300 urban drum samples, and the most disrespectful 808s your neighbors have ever heard. Urban Beats is available now only at wholeloops.com. We got to get the sub out of the way when our kick hits, so we're just going to have to go in and use the good old fashioned sidechain compressor. And we're just going to select kick, turn on our EQ, and we're going to low cut our input. And we're just going to slam this, boom. Uh. Let's even put this before the camel crusher. Mmm. When you're using the EQ, this frequency knob really becomes like the release knob. The higher you go, the quicker the release is. But when you got the compressor afterwards, you can kind of get away with it a little slower. Now this is already starting to sound really good, but we are going to take it a step further. Our kick and sub are still hitting at the same time, and this trick doesn't work every time, but it's always something 
to give a shot. And you're going to be like, what the hell are you using this simple delay for on the kick? And this plugin is actually extremely useful if you link it, turn sync off, pull this down, push this all the way up. This really becomes almost like a, uh, a latency knob. But as you bump it up, you can hear that you're starting to allow a little bit more of the attack of the kick through before the sub comes in and fills up all the space. As you go back down, kick disappears. Turn it off, and back up. Kind of like around 10. This effect is really easy to overdo. I guarantee you're probably not going to be using it much past 10. And 10 is not necessarily going to sound good on your sub with your kick in the key that your song is in, but this is definitely a uh, secret weapon right here. The extra punch that you get from getting rid of that content over the kick with the side chain and the simple delay is exactly the sauce that this thing needed to be a delicious dish of bass. I encourage you to explore different ways of distorting your sub. Obviously the Camel Crusher is not the only plugin, but it is the only free one that is awesome. Enjoy these ideas. I hope you learned something. If there's anything you'd like me to discuss in a future video, leave it in a comment below. Thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. I'll catch you next time with another tutorial. Peace out.